swag, bitch. Hey, people here. What's up? In this video that you're about to watch, I am installing Spectre D headlights. I didn't install the tail lights. I did, but I didn't take a video on it because it's very simple. You just plug in, put the little. It's like a. It's like a, a fuse box almost. Let's say that it sticks to the inside of one of the fender walls in the truck itself, and basically you plug it in, click it in just like a normal light bulb, and then you have your LED tail lights, and those are like ten times brighter as well. I just wanted to say that before the video starts, and enjoy, guys. Yo, what's up there, guys? This is Ryan. He's putting in his 2004 Dodge Dakota headlights. Okay. So, some things I have to predict to you is the adjusters. The adjusters will be a little off set and everything. Uh, the wires are very scrambled in the back there. All you know is white goes to white, and black goes to black. You will have a gap in the light a little bit but it's barely noticeable now i could have got the um chrome ones but i didn't and it's much easier to take the bumper off when you broke the bumper because the bumper's uh pretty well fucked so right now the bumper is just staying right where it's at but the lights look a lot better they're really sturdy and this is the setup they're plug in place which is you know, I should get down. Here's the one I pulled out because I had to re put them in. I put them in last night in here, and then basically this. Today, this all back here will be loose if you just put it in there like that. So you have to adjust this. You have to put a washer in here because these are broken from factory. That's the way I got them broken. As you can see right there, you can see it breaking. So, my suggestion is. This clip broke already, but that one's over there is still good. So basically, all I did was connect these up and connect these up. And there's this little light on the side here that's on your original one for the line across. See this line here? I go straight across. I just rigged them all together, put in two connectors, and I will tape them with wires. We'll tape them with electrical tape, which I have right here. High density heat because it's right next to the motor. Um, basically, these two lights plug in for high beams and low beams. Um, they are 20, they are not even LEDs, some of them are in here, but most of them are just regular light bulbs. Dude, 20% brighter, swear to God. Last night I was going to drive my buddy home, it was amazing. I could see everything in front of me with my low beams. And the running lights, here I'll turn, I'll turn them on just to show you guys real fast. Basically the way they look is mean. You get these things for your Dodge Dakota, it will change the look drastically. And I'm telling you that, drastically. It, it looked like a new truck. I had a guy, I had two friends that were in front of me. I'm blowing my horn. They're like, who the fuck's this asshole? And now I'm time to go to the back. This will be the next video. I don't know exactly what lights these are called. But these are going in there. And we'll see how they look. These are just another plug-in place. So no wires necessary to cut. Unless you want to, but basically all, your, all this does is your light bulb comes out and this just plugs into it. Same as the front ones. As the front ones, they're just plugging into the old lighthouses. This one's the high beams and low beams. This one's the turn signals. All you have to do is take the light bulbs out or the light socket out of that one and basically turn it on. Alright. Any more questions or concerns on my 2004 Dodge Dakota, the Spectre D headlight install installation? It's just to help you guys out and see more of what it is because nobody had these on there. All right. See you guys later. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake